Hopefully we're all good. It looks like we're all good. Super excited. Let's go. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, a good morning, a good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? I am so happy you're here. I am so happy to be here. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. That's right. Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. And this light is a little bit bright, so I'm going to dim it down. There we go. Get that beautiful brown copper tone. It's all about that beautiful brown copper tone. Today is... Wednesday, August 14th, 2019, also known as two days away from the incredible Grow Your Business for God's Sake event coming up here on August 16th, 2019, but we're not going to get into that just yet. Listen, today is also known as Jeff Baker's double birthday. That's right, Jeff Baker's double birthday because August 13th in our planner got doubled up. August 13th, we've got it twice in the hashtag Rise and Grind Planner. So we're going to call today August 13th Squared, a.k.a. Jeff Baker's Doubled Up Birthday, a.k.a. Hey, out of 365 pages of our planner, we only made one error that we know of, that we, so far, we're eight months into the year and only one mistake. That's not bad. It's not bad for a couple of guys that had never made a planner before and just decided to put one together so that they could... I have to, you know, ultimately change the world. I think that's a pretty darn good job. But listen, in today's planner, on our doubled up August 13th, it says something really powerful. The planner reads, and I quote, it says, grind to perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal, in order to attain a goal. Grind, G-R-I-N-D. Grind to perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal. Now, there is more gold, and this was dropped to us by my boy Jeremy Nolan. Jeremy Nolan's been... Uh, Jeremy Nolan's been a part of Hashtag Rise and Grind for a long time. He's watched this show for a long time. We've become friends over time. I really like Jeremy. So this was his quote that he dropped in the book, which I appreciate you, Jeremy, if you're on here this morning, which I'm sure you will be at some point. But there is more in that sentence right there. There is more in that sentence than you might think. And we're going to dive into that deep, in-depth today. But before we do, let's dance. Y'all want to dance real quick this morning? Let's go. For those of you that know and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact on this planet. I truly believe that. Sometimes all it takes for you to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where I'm going to say good morning to you. I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live, you're watching on replay, just say what's up. I'll say what's up back. What's up, Bill Schomburg? Did you have a birthday yesterday? Is it you and Baker's birthday yesterday? What's up, Zach Doyle? How are you, sir? What's up, Jeremy Nolan? There's my boy. What's up, John Calton Bourne and Janelle Griego? Mr. Melvin Rodriguez. And we've got Gail B. Craft. Of course, Don Sankey, my man, is up in the house. What's up, Robert Fuller? Dropped off all that weight, dude. Robert Fuller's got a rising grind testimony. It's unbelievable. Whitney Wells is up in here. David Kaiken, Kaikendall? 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 Did I get that? Kaikendall. I like it. What's up, Tabby Necret? What's up, Terry Collins? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Pam Biddle? Eric Willeroy and Lindsay I. We've got Stephen Kuhn all the way from Hungary up in here. What's up, bro? We got Vicki Everett, Leanne Lancaster, my man Mike Stevens. Everybody's up in here on hashtag. What's up, Eddie? Gilbert, Scott Simons, love it, everybody up in here, Michael LeBlanc on hashtag Rise and Grind, look, we got business to get to, man, 
We ain't got time to be just sitting around dancing all morning. Are you kidding me? It's already 4.37 Central Time, 5.37 Eastern Time. We've got work to do. Especially, I know you're busy. I'm busy. I'm for real deal busy. Because two days from right now, two days from right now, do I got sound on this? I don't want sound on that. Two days from right now, get the sound off that. There you go. Sorry about that. Two days from now, we have the incredible Grow Your Business for God's Sake event right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Dude, it kicks off Friday night. Today's Wednesday. So we're like 48 hours plus 12, right? We're like 60 hours from kicking off this incredible event in Nashville, Tennessee. So what I'm trying to say is you still have time. You still have time. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet to the Grow Your Business for God's Sake event here in Nashville, Tennessee, you still have time. You can hop onto a cheap flight with Southwest. You can jump on a car and drive. Whatever you got to do, you're going to want to be a part of this tremendous event. I'm simply telling you, you are going to want to be a part. However, if you can't make it, if you can't, you absolutely can't make it to Nashville. I do understand. So we put together a live stream where you can now live stream the event from anywhere in the world, including my boy over there in Hungary. You can live stream it anywhere in the world, right, Amanda Messer? You can do it anywhere. Uh, Scott Holbert, that's right. You can live stream it anywhere in the world. Just go to growforgod.com slash live stream. You're also going to be able to keep the recording. So every single presentation, every performance by Darian Sanders, you'll be able to keep all of that for a lifetime. You just need to grow to growforgod.com slash live stream. Now, yesterday we announced this yesterday morning, and regretfully, a bunch of you hopped off and you hopped over to growforgod.com slash live stream, and it, the, the link was messed up. The link was messed up at the moment, and so if you went yesterday and you did not get a confirmation, yesterday morning, we got it fixed about 8.30 a.m., so if you went before 8.30 a.m., you did not get a confirmation, that means your card was not charged, you need to go back in there and get it to make sure you don't miss it. You will receive a confirmation email when you get your live stream at growforgod.com slash live stream. So that is available because I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss it because I know the content at this particular event is going to be absolutely incredible. But listen, it's still super cheap to just come live. Listen, we have incredible sponsors. We sponsored with Hunt Brothers Pizza. We sponsored with Car Saver. We also sponsored with a group called Marriage Movement. Now, Marriage Movement is a free group on Facebook. If you haven't joined it yet, you need to go join it. If you're in a relationship of any kind, you need to go join the Marriage Movement. The Marriage Movement, they do these challenges which are super fun so yesterday the challenge was um, I don't remember the exact wording of the challenge but I do know that my wife made this post it says Glenn Lundy you are irresistible that's what it was the challenge was to write a comment like you are you are irresistible when so my wife writes Glenn Lundy you are irresistible when you pour into our kids I am stopped in my track and filled to overflowing with love when I witness you encouraging, guiding, teaching, or just snuggling our babies. Man, when I got a notification that my wife had made that comment about me publicly in a group, and there was like 90 other comments of, Husbands and wives saying kind things about each other, about the things that make them irresistible. And that's what that group is all about. That's what makes that group so powerful. And that's a reminder to me this morning. I got I to gotta put mine in there about what I find irresistible in my, or in my wife. But how powerful is that? Like my wife and I have been together for a really long time. And if it wasn't for marriage movement and if it wasn't for that particular challenge, maybe she wouldn't have said those things about me yesterday, you know? But what an encouraging thing to read from your spouse. Whether you've been together six months or you've been together, you know, 30 years. We still love each other. There's still things that inspire each other or that about each other that, that we inspire each other, right? 
And so join the marriage movement. If you haven't already, just join that group. It's really, really powerful. It makes for a much stronger uh, relationship. Super, super cool. So because we partnered with them, the Grow Your Business for God's Sake event, it's only $149. Super, super cheap. And for that, you're going to get the most amazing, massive value of content you could possibly imagine. It's super super cool. All right. So if you can make it great, if you can't get the live stream either way, make sure you don't miss out on the content. It's going to be spectacular. Now I've been working. I want to go back to this grind to perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal. I've been working with uh, Tom Cadlick Honda, Tom Cadlick Honda for the last um, 90 days. I actually haven't been working with them for about the last 10 days, but prior to that, I was working with them for the last, for about 90 days. And this is my man Kiefer. He's got such a great sense of humor. He's an incredible human being. He's basically the general manager over at that store. And we've been working together trying to really just move the needle, move the needle for this dealership. It's an incredible group. The owner is an incredible, incredible human being. Their staff is absolutely phenomenal. And so we've been working really trying to move the needle. And at first we had some growing pains, right? Like the first 30 days, we really had some growing pains. We had some staff that we had to, that moved and the, you know, some people that left, some people that we had to put in place, some changes that we had to make. We had some real growing pains in the first 30 days. And then in the second 30 days, there was a bit of adjusting where people were adjusting to the changes that we made in the first 30 days. And they were trying to get used to what it, the new Cadillac looked like, right? And that was kind of the second day, but we just kept repeating these repetitive motions that I was teaching Kiefer and the sales managers in the store. Just keep repeating. Just stay the course, man. Just stay the course. I know we have frustrations. I know there's there's times where it's really, really difficult. I know that we're, we, we have growing pains. I know that we're adjusting, but just stay the course. Continue to repeat these same repetitive motions, right? Which these were repetitive motions that we taught as far as things to do on social media and ways to deal with the staff and different strategies and books to read and so on and so forth, right? Repetitive motions. Uncomfortable at first. They get more comfortable over time. And so we kept, I kept hammering them on these repetitive motions. And right now, this month in August, I'm super, super, super stoked because those guys are killing it. They are killing it. I mean, we're talking about a store that was averaging eight to nine cars a day, okay? They were averaging eight to nine cars a day when we started 90 days ago, a little bit over 90 days ago. They were averaging eight to nine cars a day. Now they're averaging, this month right now, they're averaging 15 cars a day. 15 cars a day. They're on track to increase 30% year over year. 30%. Can you believe that? That's huge. That's a huge leap in their business. And see, I want to point this out. The reason I'm pointing this out is here's the point is sometimes you don't see it right away. Sometimes you don't see the growth right away. Sometimes you don't see how the little tiny repetitive action every single day is starting to add up. Sometimes you don't see it while you're going through it. Sometimes you don't see it one while it hurts. Sometimes you don't see it and it's like frustrating at times. You're like, man, I don't see it. I'm working hard, but I don't see it. I'm making the adjustments, but I don't see it. I've put in the commitment, I've made the mind shift, I'm reading the books, I'm waking up early, I'm doing the actions, but I don't see it. And so this morning, here's what I want to say to you. I just want to say, stay the course. Stay the course. It's coming. It's coming for you, I promise, it's coming. Listen, right here, to grind, to perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal. You notice it says repetitive, and then it says over, and then it says over. Three times in one sentence. This is one sentence. But it says to perform repetitive motions over and over. It doesn't just say to perform repetitive motions to attain a goal. It's not what it says. It says to re perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal. 
Listen, yesterday I was at the uh, church where we're holding this incredible event on Friday. And I was there with Steve Brewster. And Steve Brewster, this is his first time ever speaking on stage. The guy's just been working his buds off forever. He just recently retired. And now he's in a position where he can share his strategies, share his gifts, share his talents. He's going to share with you how he built a company from, from a tiny little lot from a tiny little store to a publicly traded company. It ultimately got sold and is, an, is now a publicly traded company that he built from the ground up. And he's going to share how he did it with everybody. And he was on stage. So we were there yesterday and I was watching him. I was actually, uh, don't tell anybody, but I was actually eating Jack in the Box because I love Jack in the Box. It's my favorite food by far. I could eat Jack in the Box every single day. And we don't have Jack in the Box in Kentucky. So there happens to be a Jack in the Box like three miles from the church. Oh, I'm going to be fat by the time I get back. But I love me some Jack in the Box. So I was eating some Jack in the Box and he was on the stage and he was practicing his thing. He was kind of going through, which by the way, all this uh, Saved by the Bell stuff won't be up there on, on the stage come event time. That's just something they're doing right now. But he was on the stage and he was walking through his presentation, which is super, super powerful. And I'm listening and he's, you know, he's doing his thing and he's practicing and he's been practicing like Steve. He's got a team that he's put together and this team's been helping him to create video and to create a, a power powerful presentation for the event. I mean, he's put so much work into it. He's He's been practicing it every single day, every single day, over and over and over, because he wants to make sure to over-deliver at this incredible event. And when he got done, he was like, Glenn, how was it? And I'm like, cool, man. It was good. There's a couple things we need to work on. We need to work on how your steps and where you move around. We need to work on your, you know, your, uh, your eye, eye contact, like little things like that, right? So he talks through some little things, and I noticed, man, Steve's got, like, he's got all these notes, he's got these incredible videos, he's got these incredible slides that his team has put together. It's really a powerful performance that he has put together for you. It's super, super incredible. And so I'm talking to him about it, and, and I said, man, it'd be nice. I wish I had all this. I wish I had all this stuff, man. Like, this is incredible. And Steve was like, yeah, man, you know, I'm, I'm newer at this, so I, I need these things, but how, how do you do it? He said, how is it that you can do it, Glenn, without all of these things? And I looked at Steve, and I said, Steve, bro, I've done 420 episodes of Hashtag Rise and Grind. 420 episodes, and let's just say they're 30 minutes each, right? Usually they're about 30 minutes each, so maybe sometimes a little bit less, maybe sometimes a little bit more. Usually when I have a guest on, it goes over, right? I've done 420 episodes. That's 12,600 minutes. 12,600 minutes, not including any of my other videos. That's only including my morning videos. 12,600 minutes that I've spent practicing talking to myself which is really what I do. I know, CC, you're right here. And of course, Michael Venters, you're, you're right here. And Terry LaPierre is right here. And Sarah Ball's all the way over on the other side of the pond. But she's here. And Marlena Marie and Brian Olson and Jeff Baker and Brad Smith. Like, I, you know, Leanne Lancaster, I understand that you're here. But in reality, if somebody was on the outside looking in right now, they would see a guy sitting in a room, a very nice room, by the way. We finally got our, our big suite. Whenever my family travels, uh, we have to get three connecting rooms for all of for me and all the kids. So I've got one room over there. I have a huge parlor right here, and then I've got another room that connects on the on the bend of the hall there. So I got my nice room. Yesterday I was just in my temporary room, but I've spent 210 hours, not including any prep time, not including any prep time, not including any other videos, just. Hashtag rise and grind. I've spent 210 hours doing this. Every day, Monday through Friday, I'm here. 5.30 a.m., let's go. 4.30 sometimes. Sometimes it's 3.30 if I'm over on the uh, the other side of the country. Sometimes it's 2.30. Doesn't matter, right? I'm here. 
And I've done it. And because of those repetitive motions, I've had my struggles, I've had my pains, I've had my technological issues, I've had all of those things. But because of those things, because I performed that repetitive motion over and over and over and over and over again, it's much easier for me not only to do this show, but it's much easier for me to go on a stage Friday night and light your butt up. Because that's what I'm going to do. But I wrote out, I wrote out Friday's, Friday's, um, uh, Friday's presentation when we launch this thing, when we, when we open this thing up, phew, stop it. Stop it. Worth the price of, price of admission alone. Not tooting my own horn, but I'm just saying, dude, it's going to be fire. But listen, it's the repetitive motions. See, I've, been, I've stayed the course. And that's what I told Steve. I'm like, Steve, you just got to stay the course, bro. Stay the course. It's coming. It's coming. Stay the course. Perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal. Steve, just keep practicing. It's coming. You, you look at your boy, Eric Thomas, right? Eric Thomas. I spent some time with Eric Thomas. When I was out there uh, with, with, with Eric. Where's that at? When I, when I was out there with Eric Thomas. Sorry. Hold up. There we go. When I was out there with Eric Thomas, we were... We were traveling around, you know, I was down to down, spend some time with him in Phoenix, spend some time with him in Florida. We went to all these different high schools. And so I'm out there with Eric Thomas, the number one motivational speaker in the world, right? When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, E.T., the hip hop preacher. And I'm out there and I'm watching him. And this dude, this dude was insane. Like we'd be sitting there talking in the hall. We'd just be shooting it up, talking about whatever in the hallway. And then they'd pop out the door and they'd be like, E.T., Yo, E.T., you ready? He'd be like, yup. They'd be like, all right, cool. He'd be like, all right, Glenn, hold up. And then he'd walk in there and just pow, 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 blow everybody's mind. Just deliver. Pow, 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 pow. No preparation. Just blow every. I mean, pow. I'd be like, dude, what? A minute ago, we was talking about what, what, whoop, do whoop. And now you're in there and just bam. It's just incredibly impressive. But if you look at it. The dude has done 5,100 hours of speaking on a stage. He does 170 speaking events a year, paid, 170 years. He's been doing this for 30 years. 30 years, 170 speaking gigs a year for 30 stinking years. That's 5,100 hours of just speaking on stages. 51, just that. That doesn't include his videos, doesn't include any of his other stuff. He's an absolute expert. He's an absolute expert. The power of repetition. So this morning, I need to say this to you because you might be struggling. You might be in that struggle period or you might be in that adjusting period like I talked about with, with Tom Cadley. You know, at first we kind of went through little adjustment periods, some growing pains and some adjusting. And that might be you. And I want to tell you today, I want to tell you this morning, stay the course. It's coming. It's coming. Stay the course. Maybe you're struggling to still get in the gym because you didn't see the results that you needed to right away. Stay the course. It's coming. Maybe you're struggling with your 75 hard. You're out there with Scott Simons and you're rocking your 75 hard and you're struggling. And I'm telling you, stay the course. It's coming. Maybe you're struggling to, to get that promotion. You're struggling to level up in your career. You're struggling to level up in your spirituality. Whatever area that you're struggling, I'm telling you, stay the course. It's coming. It's coming. It is. To grind is to perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain the goal. It doesn't say just perform repetitive actions. It says to report, re perform the repetitive actions over and over. It takes some time, but it's coming. I promise you, it's coming. I went upstairs. I went upstairs the other day. I walked upstairs. And my wife had her eyes closed. My son had his head bowed. My daughter, Savannah, had her head bowed. And they were, they were doing their prayer. They were doing their prayer before they start school. My, my kids are homeschooled. And my, thankfully, my wife, she just, she just pours into them in an amazing way. And so there my kids were. They were praying with my wife. And so I walked up slowly. I snapped a quick picture, which my son noticed after. So I probably shouldn't have, but I did and I thought about this moment. I thought, you know what? My kids misbehave all the time. And my kids have all kinds of bad decisions around the corner, right? They got all kinds of bad decisions coming up. 
But think about this repetitive action right here, right now, that my wife is doing with these kids. Right now, she's going to have her troubles. Right now, they're going to, you know, sometimes it's, it's difficult. Right now, we might not always see the results, but I can only think, fast forward. Fast forward to when my kids have, like Eric Thomas, 5,100 hours of speaking to God. Fast forward to when my kids have 210 hours of prayer like their dad has 210 hours of hashtag rise and grind episodes. Like this repetitive motion performed over and over again is going to help us to attain a goal. It's going to help my wife to attain a goal. It's going to help my kids to attain a goal. And that's a goal where just my kids understand that we are spiritual beings uniquely made by the God of the universe. And with that, that comes some abilities and some responsibilities. Some abilities and responsibilities, moral responsibilities and the abilities to achieve greatness. The abilities to achieve our dreams, to achieve anything that we put our mind to. That all comes as a gift of being a child of God. And so I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that my wife right now is doing what it's hard. She's doing the grind, right? She's grinding it out every single day, taking care of my kids, six of them. I'm down here in Nashville, Tennessee in a three-bedroom suite all by myself. My wife's at the house with six kids, a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, a two-year-old, a nine-month-old. She has her frustrations, but guess what? She has her growing pains, but guess what? My wife understands what I'm trying to get you to understand today is that I just need you to stay the course because it's coming. Your reward for all your hard work is coming. Stay the course and remember what my man Jeremy Nodling says. To grind is to perform repetitive motions over and over in order to attain a goal. You see, there's something that happens when you stick to it, when you perform those repetitive motions over and over every single day. When you stay with it, at some point, there's this thing called compound interest. Compound interest is what you get when you keep layering, you keep grinding, you keep layering, you keep grinding, you keep layering, you keep grinding, grinding, and then one day, poof, it all snaps together. It all snaps together and you leap. You see massive growth. That's what's happening at Catholic right now. So Cadillac was like, okay, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course. Repetitive action, repetitive action, repetitive action. Not really seeing any results, not really seeing any results. But repetitive, repetitive, keep going, keep going. Stay the course, push through. Oh, this is hard, this is hard, this is a struggle, this is a struggle. This is a trial. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if this is working. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know. I'm frustrated. I'm getting frustrated. Oh my gosh, these growing pains. Oh my gosh, it hurts. What am I doing? I've just got to stay the course, stay the course, stay the course, stay the course. And then boom, just all of a sudden. We hadn't seen really any growth over the last 90 days. It had been tiny. Over the last 13 days, we've seen more growth than we've seen in the entire existence of the company. Boom. Compound interest. That's what's coming for you. That's what's coming for you. That's my message for you today. Stay the course. It's coming. It's coming. And I'm not just talking nonsense. I'm a guy that knows. Because, see, I know something about you, whether you know it or not. Same thing with my kids and same thing with me. I know that you are a child of God, right? The God of the universe who made everything. God who made everything he made you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Best version, not an average version, not a subpar, not a little bit above average. Absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And so you're already starting to make some good decisions. You're watching hashtag rise and grind, which I hope you shared today's episode because it's powerful. I also hope that you hit the likes and the hearts and all of that good stuff because we love to share this out as far as we can. But you're making good decisions. You're watching hashtag rise and grind and you're getting up early. You're doing your morning five. You're doing all of these things. And I know that sometimes it may not feel to you that it's making an impact. But I'm here to tell you that every single one of those little decisions, every single one of them, They're making an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. It's made a massive impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely stinking love you. So stay the course. It's coming. It's coming. Stay the course. And if you haven't done so already, or I'm sorry, and if you need more episodes like this, if you just need a little bit more of this, you can go to glennlundy.com. That'll connect you up to all of these episodes that we've done. 
If you need some rise and grind gear, you can go to glennlundy.com. If you haven't got your tickets yet to the Grow Your Business for God's Sake event, you still have time. It will transform and change your life. Or feel free to get the live stream. If you can't make it to Nashville, go to growforgod.com slash live stream right now and go get it. But most importantly, will you do me a favor? Will you have an absolutely incredible day today? And then come back here again tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. We're going to do this all over again. Good.